Bam. What you're hearing now through your headphones is the smooth sound of the Quora Raiders podcast, America's favorite Quora-based podcast, where your hosts, Alex and Jeremy. Hello. How's it going, Alex? Oh, hi there. Didn't see you. Wow, that's crazy. You've been at my apartment for an hour and a half because you came early. That's right, but I've got my blinders on success. Alex got confused and came here a full hour and a half early. <laughs> I played video games on the couch video games. <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> What's very funny is how much I told my wife, I can't be here. I have to go to work and i was like oh card time already <laughs> that's great well that's okay we're no, no one uh, no one needs to know about that that'll be a dirty little secret and uh we have a very special guest for you today all the way from laugh town us <laughs> yep. that's, right. that's right uh stand-up comedian maddie smith maddie hey thank you it's so funny you remember my hometown yeah <laughs> yeah i remember the little details about people i yeah that's really nice upstate I'm, new york mm-hmm, laugh town mm-hmm. type a yeah <laughs> Yeah, you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I like to focus on the little things. Um, and Laugh Town is like a Greek name too, right? It's one of those upstate New York Greek towns. Yeah, like mm. Laugh Town. Yeah. Laugh yeah, Town. Yeah, it's not actually <laughs> Laugh, it's Laugh. That's a Jamaican man saying Laugh Town, but <laughs> it is Greek. Laugh Town. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in Jamaica, look out for that hurricane. Uh, <laughs> There is a hurricane coming, it and it has a weird name, right? It Does is. it? Yeah. It's, bar- it's laugh time. Barrel. <laughs> Barrel? Barrel. Is that a B-E-R-Y-L. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like Cheryl with a B. Like Cheryl well, with a B. Yeah. And that's yeah. how it will be remembered. It's nice that it's whimsical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think about this a lot, and uh, it's the idea that somebody gets to name the hurricanes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, They get like to see job. them and be like, mm, you're Nancy. This has to go in alphabetical order, though. Sure. But right, yeah, there's yeah, only yeah. 26 fucking letters. So, so if you're the guy next to Hurricane Comes, it's a C. What are you going for? Cunt. Charles. What? <laughs> that's, you don't get to name him. Come on. <laughs> if that's going to be what you name him. <laughs> Sorry, podcast flagged on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Taken down, age restricted. How far? We're five minutes in? I think we're safe. Did you we're guys, safe. Did you guys watch Crashing? I just rewatched um, it. A LOL. little bit of it. The, the third season, they had a... Wait, this wasn't from Crashing. LOL. I just mixed up Crashing with the Torgasm. Uh, <laughs> That's I hilarious. have seen Torgasm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is pretty Dane much Cook my one? life. That's yeah, the Dane okay. Cook one. I watched it recently. Hilarious. Gary it's hilarious because it. it's so bad. Mm-hmm. It's so bad. They get in like fake fights on the bus. But one of the openers did a joke and it was like, they should name hurricanes after my ex-girlfriend. I call her Hurricane Bitch. <laughs> yeah! One million people. One mil- she, Should I he- close this window? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we live in the city. You can never have it open. <laughs> How does this keep happening? <laughs> but that is the alarm that went off at Torgasm, though, That, in all seriousness. Yeah. Um, no, there's one wow. episode of Torgasm where they have, like, the shitty opener. Like, they have, like, three... Co- like, they have Gary Goldman, Dane Cook, and Bobby then- Kelly. Bobby, Bobby Kelly. Yeah, and then they have like another guy who never does anything after. And they like give him bad comedy advice. They give him, yeah. And they'll yell, and he'll like be he'll be mad that they are mean to him. And Bobby Kelly's like, that's what we do here. We bust balls. You can't handle it. You're a new comic. We're going to bust you balls. You're pretty much a slave to us. <laughs> You're <laughs> enthralled to Dane Cook. And his title in the intro is just newbie. <laughs> everyone, everyone else has like a fun and he's just <laughs> like new guy. Who is it? Is it someone we know? We don't know. Even, that's we newbie. Don't know what happened. <laughs> He's dead. I think us. this documentary probably ruined his career. Wow. It's yeah. so funny. They give him advice. They're like, look, don't write anything out. Don't think about it. Just go out there and say to your heart's content what you feel. And then wow. he'll go out and then bomb in front of like 750,000 people. And they're yeah. like, I don't know what happened. I did what I felt. <laughs> it's like they gave comedy advice that you would see in a TV, uh, TV sure. show that's not real. Yeah. Right. And this was Pete Holmes's autobiographical HBO show we're talking about? <laughs> no, no. It's, con- it's too confusing it's to too, mix them up. the same thing. Yeah. This what is I- about Pete Holmes' wife cheating on him? <laughs> yeah. I never watched mm-hmm. Crashing. I was told too many times by people I was barking to that I was pretty much living Crashing. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and so in that way, I didn't have to watch no, it. No, you lived it. Because I lived, lived it. And you barked it. once and then immediately got a spot at the cellar. Yeah. 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 And I, I made it weird. <laughs> 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 so it's pretty much the show, as yeah, far as I can yes, understand. Yes. Um, okay, Maddie, you know about Quora. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm on. I've, I'll always Google like cuckoo stuff, and I end up on there. And That's where it happens. Yeah, yeah. 
on lots, the cuckoo lots section of, different of Google. Stuff. Lots of different stuff. When Google detects you're quirky, mm. that's where they send you. Yeah, they, they move past the Reddit mm. and they go to Quora. <laughs> Reddit's too literate for yeah, you. Yeah, Reddit's, <laughs> Reddit's too right lucid, to it's too real. Quora's like, <laughs> let's get in there. <laughs> this person probably doesn't want anything upvoted. The worst is on Quora when you're like, I want to see more, and then they try to get you to, you know, make a login. I'm not doing all that. Oh. <laughs> We've done it. We've yeah, done well, it. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> we should they really send you change emails. That. <laughs> yeah. We we have like antagonized people so much on this website. We should probably change it to not be your name. I think that's a great idea. We make I'm it a very fake behind one that. Uh, two weeks ago, we started messaging a, a vor specialist, and now he keeps trying to talk to me. Yeah. Um. Oh, what what's specialist? You know vor is it's like a sexual don't um, pretend you don't inclination know. where v o r v o r e. Vor. Vor. I've never heard this word in my life. It's um, people who have, or they have a fetish for like eating things. Okay. Yeah, the idea is like they're eating something, but their mouth is full, but they want more. Is that really, that can't be it. Vor. <laughs> Vor. <laughs> so like when food's in their mouth, they're turned on. It's yeah. sad, but it's okay. true. But, but not, <laughs> not like eating, just literally food in your mouth. Well, the idea is like the sexual I fetish would be eating. like, what if I ate Jeremy? Yeah. Like I oh, okay. consumed yeah. him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Or so like an animal We're or in constant communication with a vor guy on here now. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Not constant. A vorist. We're, we're talking. <laughs> By constant, we mean I am trying to distance myself because <laughs> yeah. my name and face are on this profile. <laughs> He's going to eat your ass. He uh, might. He not might. my ass. In more ways than one. Whole. Um, well, uh... What do we do at the beginning of the show? The advice segment. We do the advice segment. Surprise. Woohoo. Um, at the beginning of the show, we've started a cynical ploy to attract new listeners on YouTube, and that is, of course, our advice segment. And today we are doing tips for women. Ooh. Tips for women. Do you have any advice for women? In general? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> Hilarious, <laughs> vague as fuck. Yeah, just whatever you got. Advi advice for all women. Oh man. <laughs> um, what would I say to all women? And they're all listening. They're all listening. Everyone, all of them. I got something if you just need. Okay, a you go. You okay, go first. Go yeah. First all right. So if you have like a Rapunzel length hair, you gotta look out for escalators because oh. they will suck oh, yeah. your whole damn yeah. head in. It's so true. It's so dangerous, and mm -hmm. nobody wow. talks about. No it. No one's talking about it, and I know a couple women who've been sucked into it. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Everybody, look to your hair. left. But if look they're in a right. tower, it's so helpful to be able yeah. to get out. So there are pros and cons there, to Rapunzel there are pros hair. And cons. Yeah, totally pros and cons. What are often considered the untied laces of the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a couple people have said that. Mm -hmm. Okay, advice to women. Mm -hmm. um, if you... <laughs> fucking... This is so hard. Advice to women. If... You are hungry, then eat what you want. Killing spree. Boom. That's pretty good. Yeah, I said it. And the Vore guy is going to love that. Oh, yeah, this was for the Vore guys out there. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh, honey. If you're hungry, eat what you want because in two days you're going to still be thinking about what you wanted to eat. Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That also goes for the starving women in third world countries. Or, I, Especially I them. Developing. You have Sorry. your own mic. I regret giving it to you. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing a new gag where I give the guests the mic and then I, I didn't consider what if I never get it back. <laughs> <laughs> and it really made me feel powerless and afraid. I understand. Well, you got it back. And that's been tips for women. Wow. Oh, you're going to hit it again? <laughs> All right. It's too long. We're not doing the whole thing. Okay. All right, uh, now we can get into the nitty gritty here for once and fucking start the business of the show, please. Okay. Uh, every week at, at the beginning and end, we ask a question and then see what the community has answered. What did we ask last week, so Jeremy? Last week, Martin Urbano has kittens. So he asked Cora, are kittens ticklish at all? And can they laugh? And no one responded. Not a oh. damn soul. Which is, you know, that's fine. No one knows if they laugh. It's unknowable. I don't think they laugh. I, I would have heard it do. by now. I, yeah, yeah, I don't Maybe think Maybe you're they not laugh. funny enough in like the kitten tone or something. Yeah, I'm sure if you had like, I don't know, the Pete Holmes of cats at your house, they would laugh. <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't have that kind of talent. No, yeah. All right, well. You said Are you they have ticklish? a cat, right? Yeah. 
I don't think they're ticklish, but you know, like if you're like, they're like, oh. <laughs> you know, like, like he's laying down like if you went yeah. in he'd be like yeah. I think they're like ticklish like that That's true. they're just on edge they react yeah there's a visceral reaction yeah do you have a chatty cat yeah 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 and she's small so her cat her meow is like small and squeaky that's yeah. awesome yeah it's pretty that's funny. what you want yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I made the mistake my cat's like 11 years old and I've just been talking to him this whole time and so now he just like reacts like people when you're around and it's crazy <laughs> annoying. You, you, <laughs> I'll just come home and he'll just look at me and go like, ah! and yes. I'm like, I can't deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working all day you're making YouTube. Yes. And when they meow, it looks like they use their whole freaking face. <laughs> they put their, <laughs> I'm like, bro, chill. You're a monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're always fighting with your cat. Yeah, he's a he's a real monster. But um, uh, that's quarrel. He makes me a stronger man. Yeah, oh, that's mm-hmm. beautiful as well. <laughs> he's Behind every powerful well. podcaster in New York, you'll never see him again because we've changed apartments. <laughs> right. We have a new cat now. Yeah, hey, he's over there. We'll get a picture of him for the Discord. He's All sleeping. Right. Sure, we will. Um, update on Milo. He's asleep. Let's read a bunch of quarter questions. That's for the best. What is this week's theme, Jeremy? All right. This is rejected advances. Oh, baby. Thanks, Wario. Uh, so these first questions are our incel segment, the Quoker. It's that Naruto theme. So these are questions by the, uh, the pent up communities of the internet. Mm-hmm. They have they have aggression that they need to let out. And yes, let's hear do. about their rejected advances. Um, this question is, is it weird that I'm attracted to Swiper from Dora the Explorer? Oh. Is that the do you remember Swiper? Oh, yeah, yeah, the little fox and he has um oh, eyes. He had mask. that problem. Yeah, he was swiping. With swiping. And she would say, Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. And he would go, oh, man. I was actually a writer on that show, and that was punched up from Dora going, please don't. <laughs> They're like, I think we can make this a little more engaging. Something that just sounds better. Mm. Something yeah. more literal. But Swiper, no pitched. swiping. Because you, you pitched, please don't. And when they yeah. changed it, you yeah. were all mad about it. Yeah, I was like, people aren't going to like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, why is he not a goddamn raccoon if he's going to wear a bandit is mask like all the time? Is he like a fox? He's a fox. Yeah, he's literally a fox. fox. Yeah, like, you have a picture here that's going on the YouTube. It's like a little it's bandit. Just, yeah. He's uh, And he wears gloves, too. Which, mm-hmm. again, if you have a raccoon, I think they just have those. Yeah, true. They're doing too much. They're nature's little bandit. Yeah, they are. But I guess the idea is you can't trust anyone. <laughs> not in right. the woods. Not, yeah. even a, not in the woods. Yeah. That's for sure. So do we think swiper, why am I attracted to s- swiper no get, swiping? The question is, is it weird? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a little weird. I mean, Dora could, and him, though, they have a kind of like, will they, won't they, though. Right? Yeah, for sure. It's like the a little no bit of a toxic. Swiping, not yeah. swiping. Right, Tinder. <laughs> he's, not, he's not a fan service character, I'll say that. No. He's not there to like, make, hey, if you watch this show, here's something for your dad to enjoy. <laughs> we yeah. put Swiper in there so yeah. the whole family. Yeah, for the whole family. Yeah, like a Pixar podcast. mom. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like maybe the map's a little more, you know. Yeah. I'm the map, I'm the map. Unfold yeah, you are. me. Yeah. Put me in the backpack. Yeah, backpack, Mo- backpack. Mo- Backpack's pretty hot. Yeah. I think it's pretty weird. There's yeah. other cartoon characters you could be attracted to. like Indoor the these four. Uh, and just in general. Well, just in general. <laughs> that are like people. We have a good answer on this, actually. Okay. Do we do? Yeah. So the the first one. The one, the one with the picture. Okay. So this guy, Rob Adams, says, you mean this guy? And, and then a picture of Swiper. Which says, looks like he's uh, busted his shit. He says, yeah, it's a little weird. There's nothing sexual about him. He's not particularly male in any way. On the other hand, take Jessica Rabbit. She is definitely female. Being attracted to a cartoon character like her is not weird. <laughs> her famous quote is, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. The artist drew her as a sexy woman on purpose in order to give male moviegoers some eye candy. So if you're attracted to Jessica Rabbit, <laughs> that's a, totally fine. normal. A, normal. Wrong with that. normal. How does her dress stay on? I know her body is <laughs> unreal. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> it sets unrealistic expectations. Yeah. Much like Swiper himself in that in that sense. I don't like that he says that he's not male in any way. <laughs> I don't know what that means. If they gave Swiper abs, it would be different. <laughs> I so think they're saying Swiper's not male? Yeah. He's male for sure. He's definitely a boy. Yeah, he goes, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so his voice is male, you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think they're just saying, like, he could have, like, rounder shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, more like, like they built. they could cake him up. More built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 
they anime up Swiper a little bit, I think sure. he could yeah. maybe be somebody who shows up in your dreams from time to yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the an- yeah, anime. Yeah. yeah, totally. But right now, he's got a, a childlike quality. What does he want from Dora? Right. Because will they, won't they? It's, yeah, just. <laughs> she fuck. says no. He says yes. <laughs> um, is, have you found uh, the question asker? Oh, I can find the person who asked this question. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Um, this was asked by someone named Stat. Oh. Who, uh, a picture of Doctor Who. Yeah, they've asked um, 11 questions. I'm trying to see if they've asked any other perverted questions about characters. Mm-hmm. But not really. I, no. I like it better when we go to a account and it's like it's completely one normal. perverted question and then 200 that are like, is my clock broken? I know. <laughs> yeah. Does ice get bigger when it freezes or smaller? Yeah. I forget. So, yeah, literally every other one of his questions are about um, owning an aquarium. Oh, okay. Like so he's genuinely okay. attracted well, to Swiper. From yeah, he's cool. like, how do? What kind of fish should I get? Is it expensive to go saltwater or you know, freshwater? Should I fuck Yo. Swiper from Door of the Explorer? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Weird. Yes or no? I will do it. <laughs> I will do it. He's my neighbor. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess the answer is yes. No one says no. One Wait. guy does say say it doesn't surprise me. I mean, I don't think it's, a, it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. No, yeah, it's fine. I, that's why we love you, dog. <laughs> Yeah, dude, do your fucking thing. You bring that freak factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You like that swipe. <laughs> you love to be swiped from, and that's why you're our dude of the week. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what other people, what other characters he's attracted to, though. Well, it's not There's on no course. Way to know. There's no way to find out. Yeah. All right. Moving God, on. God bless you, Stat. Here's another question on Quora. Uh, why am I so despised? Hmm. Oh, we've all felt this. Did way. they give any info on what they do? No, just one sentence. Just one sentence. Is this question so by Swiper? Uh, because maybe. if so, it's because you swipe because all the damn time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, easily fix that. I mean, I don't know what, as much about your home life, but just the way you act in public is unacceptable. We don't do that. <laughs> That's not, it's stealing. Is what yeah, it is. there's She's laws no. in place. You're gonna get in trouble. Why am I so despised? It is funny. I mean, not to go back to Swiper. <laughs> but the fact he only tries to steal from a baby is yeah, pretty funny. It is pretty it. funny. And he's picking the easiest target. I know. He's a little bully, isn't he? <laughs> not once does he try to take Dora's mom's car. No. He just tries to take yeah. Dora's freaking flautas or whatever she has. Yeah. <laughs> it, and it may sound like, oh, is it flautas? It often is. It often is, yeah. You know, I haven't seen the show in a while, I'm realizing. She has all kinds of bullshit. You would, and you'd have to watch a, a lot of seasons to catch yeah. up. It's like, like, the plot is like insane right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dora's out of control. Yeah. There's so many characters and sub, subplots going on. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I do feel like I know people our age who are like, but Bluey is really good. Yeah. And I'm like, you have to stop. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. you sound like a pedophile. Well, yeah, do they have, have a child? No. Because if you have a child, then it's if like, you have yeah, a kid, then sure. But if people who are like, even if you don't have a kid, you got to check out Bluey. Mm-hmm. It's like, people didn't used to say stuff like this. People weren't like, like Bear in the Big Blue House is actually really deep. When you get <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> They're doing really interesting things. His mouse plot. friend loves him so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's embarrassing. I agree. Stop looking at Bluey. I, a, I also think like sometimes adults will read like young adult novels. Mm. And, Kind of creeps me out too. It's my dad does that a lot. Really? Like my dad loves to read. Like my dad read every Hunger Games book. Okay, well, I guess that's okay. Yeah, I guess that's. He okay. reads a lot of those kind of things. Interesting. And I'm like, why are you like a 14 year old girl? Yeah, it's strange. That's what I think. There's <laughs> yeah. some of the young adult ones are more understandable than others because there's like some are split for like written for babies, but with uh uh, uh you know like uh high act high action like character drama things and then other ones are just like really poorly written adult stories that are like we can't sell this to adults yeah but yeah. this is like it, the same as watching a telenovela to you yeah <laughs> like hunger games is just battle royale yeah that's right true. which was already a book uh was it a book yeah cool I read it three times in the eighth grade. Oh, wow. That's how much I can fucking read. <laughs> nice. You're, You're preparing. So cool. I need to remember the names of all the Japanese students who didn't make it. <laughs> when you do like the summer reading challenge, you're like, I read one book, but 5,000 times. Yeah. Our, I went to Catholic school. They challenged us to uh, read as many murder mysteries. as we <laughs> That book is about children fighting too, right? To the death. On so were you kind of reading it like this? Because you also read Ender's Game around then. Oh, yeah, I read that around then too. 
I actually read Ender's Game before that, and I was like, how do we escalate from here? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) How do we take this brand and move it forward? (laughs) I feel like you were extremely prepared to, like, kill another child. I was. Yeah. And thank God it didn't come up. (laughs) Did you guys ever take AP Euro in high school? They they talked about the children's crusades Mm -hmm. in, like, the dark ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty funny. I would not have done well in those. In in the children's crusades? No, No, dude. I would have been fucking (laughs) shot immediately. I think I could have done it. Yeah, you think you yeah. yeah, well, you were I prepared. Think I right. have done it. They didn't have Ender's Game back then. Right. It's all about they the give everyone a copy of, of it. If the Pope had a copy, <laughs> yeah. Give to yeah. So, from what kids. I know about Ender's Game, I'm assuming the Children's Crusades were very much decided by challenging your opponents to fight in a shower, where you can get more slippery than they are, therefore leading to their defeat. Yeah. Look um, it up. You'll see it in Ender's Game. It's true. There's a movie now too. There is. That's right. You can watch it any way you want. Tell me, God didn't have a plan. I'm gonna move on to another question. Fine. Oh, that guy, we don't know why everyone despises him. No, there's no way to know. I, there's a ton of answers on it of people just being like, I don't know, just keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what your fucking problem is. <laughs> I was trying to find anyone where people are just like, because you suck. But mo- most people are being nice to this person. Oh, uh, maybe some people, one guy says, you feel hated because you're forgetting who you really are. That's mm-hmm. correct. Which, I'm, like, if people are like, I feel like everyone hates me, I'm like, you probably suck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe it's you right. Know? Find one guy who likes you or else it might be right. Yeah. yeah. This is how Drake feels. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't look up who wrote it. It could be Drake. <laughs> it was anonymous. It could be the Ovo crew. Hey, you know how like Drake, like Kendrick saying like Drake's gay and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm the just kids now, instead of no homo, will say no Jersey. Is That's that real? Yeah. Really hard. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That must be really hard for Drake. It's, yeah. <laughs> 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 and he just put out the Wagwan Delilah. He did do that. Have, did I you don't know what Wagwan? that is. You know, Hey There Delilah? Yeah. He put out a Drake version that's like with uh, like uh, down like Caribbean slang called Wagwan Delilah. <laughs> 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 like the week all the diss tracks came out and it was like, this is not doing Wagwan anything. Wagwan Delilah, what it like in New York City? We played that's it and YouTube wow. immediately caught us. Wow. It was crazy. Can't play it again. But. Wow. That's behind the paywall, patreon.com slash core raiders. You got to pay for that. Be We're arch. being sued by Drake. <laughs> <laughs> you have a child. <laughs> you are hiding a child. <laughs> you are a child. Um, spree. Yeah, he Ooh. keeps fucking, every time we see him in court, he just like turns into Sprite, which is really annoying. Okay. Uh, here's another question. Is it normal for a teenage boy like me to like a good gut punching contest because I've been wanting to, uh, wanting a good beating? Oh no! I've never been a teenage boy. I don't know if maybe that's you guys true. Will have to, did Outside you of your experience, punch? yeah. Um, I well, before I jump in on this, is I feel like we all know where I'm headed. Jeremy, what do you think? I don't think I ever wanted a good beating as a mm-hmm. child. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get slammed. <laughs> you were in wrestling. You were a wrestling kid. Yes, and sometimes you did get hit down there in the gut. That is, um. I th- the idea, though, is usually that you get to hit somebody else. It's not as much about the uh, abuse directed inward. And so for that reason, I feel like you may be suppressing some uh, self-hate. Yeah. yeah that's this right. could be by the why am I so despised person, which we decided <laughs> was Drake. This could it be could Drake. It could be by Drake again. As a teenage boy. <laughs> Maybe this- sometimes you just want to punch in the gut. I mean, I've been, uh, I saw a video of like a slap um, yeah. back and forth. I was like, maybe I could do that. I remember watching 9-11 as it happened live on the TV. That felt like a punch in the gut. God, for sure. For all Americans. God. Um, this is by someone named Adrian Muscati. He's asked six questions. Mm-hmm. I think he might genuinely be a teenage boy. He's sure. asked questions like, do girls find shirtless dudes attractive? <laughs> it's a great question. <laughs> Depends on the dude. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Depends how many bruises they have down yeah. there. <laughs> should I go to school without a shirt? <laughs> he says, should teenage boys like me be shirtless in a pool? I mean, I used to be shy to be shirtless, but now I'm starting to be shirtless more often. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I do feel bad roasting a child, yeah, but well, these are funny questions. I don't Whatever. know if it's really a child, though. Yeah, because we don't I, know. Does a child start every question with, as a teenage boy? Yeah. <laughs> child here. I got to get slammed. I am a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm legally invincible. <laughs> yeah, when I was a teenager, I was never like, as a teenage girl. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, although that could be empowering to start saying it more. Yeah. Now, in the internet, age. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, as you write on Cora.com with he, your questions, he did ask, What is the gayest experience you've ever had? Which is something a boy would say. 
Is it? What is the gayest, gayest experience? experience? Yeah, they what might just the mean like, oh, I went to the experience. mall with my mom. Yeah. yeah. Like something like that. We went to Bath and Body Works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying as a character study that it does fit in. I think you're right. I think it's a real teen. Mm-hmm. He says, as a teenager, do you ever have a gut punching contest? This is a new segment we're starting called Real Teen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the last episode before we're all sent to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like teenage boys like crave pain a little more. Sure. Correct. There was yeah. like a group of guys that played ping pong mm. and they would do the pong out in the back. Did you guys ever do that? Yes. Yes. My right? friends so all had like airsoft kind of guns like and they would shoot me up close all the time. Right. And I hated that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You hated it. Sting I did pong. not like it. I was thought sting pong. Sting yes. Pong. Yes. The way we played it was if you lost the point, then you got to do a free hit on the person. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I was better than my friends at ping pong, so it was really just me bullying my friends. Oh, that's yeah. I great. liked it a lot. I always yeah. wanted to be the Jeremy Finally, of that dynamic. That's... Jeremy strikes back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy strikes back is the name of season four. <laughs> um, what okay, so Cora this guy wants say? a good gut punching. Um, someone says you could punch yourself in the gut. True. I don't think that's really a good. But it's not the same. Yeah. It's, it's not like, what it's about. Uh, this guy, Jay, says, yep, it is common among teens. They punching each other to see whose abs is the strongest. That's oh. correct. I don't think that's true at all, Jay. And it's why it's utilitarian as well. Jay whose lives. abs is the strongest? Whose abs is the strongest, <laughs> brother? Jay lives in Singapore. <laughs> He's asked two questions. How many sit-ups can be done in a row by a 15-year-old? Oh my God. And right. he's bulking currently. <laughs> There's too much info on this website. And his next question is, how did you train your abs regularly? So I'm noticing a singular fixation for Jay, and that is core <laughs> strength. Abs. <laughs> abs. <laughs> Maybe something we should all ask a few more questions about. That's right. Should I be shirtless? <laughs> <laughs> In the summertime. Um, you said you were open for Burt Kreischer. He was probably shirtless on that tour. Yes, he was. On and off Ever stage. wonder why? Because his shirt doesn't fit. Oh, because he wrote this question. <laughs> yeah, Burt Kreischer wrote, should I be shirtless more often? <laughs> Do girls like this? <laughs> should I be in the pool without a shirt? Should I go on stage without a shirt? Should I make not wearing a shirt my entire personality? As a teenage boy. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, I mean. <laughs> uh, one guy says, been there, done that, stupid. Oh. I don't know what that means. About what? The, the getting being, beat in the stomach. The the okay. stomach. Yeah. Just ruthlessly right in where your organs are. Been there, the... done that, stupid. I was internally bleeding for three years. <laughs> <laughs> Doi. Doi. Uh, and then one guy says, if you want to get gut, gut punched, that's okay. I'll even do it. I'll even do it if you want me to. Read my lips. Beat my stomach. And where does that guy live? He's going to have to go to Singapore? Oh, see. That guy's name is James Bailey. We don't know where he lives. James Bailey? Yeah. Isn't that the guy from It's a Wonderful Life? Is that? Or it was might be. Pop quiz. George Bailey. Yeah, I think you're right. Ooh. He was James so was the actor. Partial credit. It's James, Stew- it's James Stewart. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Stewart. George Bailey. Uh, Is that right? Yes, you are correct. We cannot move on until and we get this information. Right. Hollywood fact of the week. Old Hollywood fact of the week. <laughs> I just didn't remember what that sound was. I wanted. To <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's do animal, animal questions. Gore gone wild. This is Gore gone wild. Um, okay, this question is: Would you let an animal play with your organs? Like, what do you mean by that? It doesn't. It's a great question. Like a jar of them. Like, if I got my gallbladder removed, would yeah. I? Sure. Let would it you let your cat around? fuck around with your like gallbladder? <laughs> <laughs> you ever let your cat go nutty with it? Yeah, kind of hold uh, it above them. Yeah, yeah, on a fishing rod. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we could let them go crazy with my organs. It's the motion. Or is he talking go. about my musical instruments that That's I have? Very possible. Oh, so walking across a piano keyboard, mm-hmm. maybe something like that. Maybe a church cat. Maybe mm-hmm. a church mouse. Should I let my cat play with my organs? Do I let <laughs> a church mouse go crazy on that thing? Uh, though there is an answer here that someone says, I'm assuming you don't meet a musical instrument. That's sick and animal cruelty. It's uh, bestiality. If you are that desperate, find a female <laughs> or use your hands. <laughs> so this person means... The level of judgment before find a female is really funny. Yeah. To me. <laughs> That's what ladies are for. That answer is from Lolly Pulcinella. <laughs> Sometimes like... Sometimes, like, you know, if the cat does the thing with his hands, mm-hmm. they make bread. He'll do it on my stomach. Yeah. That's sure. kind of like playing with my organs. Yeah, it is. 
So I think that this woman, Lolly, thinks that organs means like penis. Like sex organs. Sexual oh, organs. So yeah. she's like, find a female. I see. I don't think the way the question's worded implies sex. No, organs. I didn't think that at all. I, until I, it Lally makes me think of like up. a lion eating your intestine. Honestly, yeah, me too. What I think of. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. My answer would have to be if I get to live, I have a higher likelihood. I'm not going to let like a dog chew my liver. I, I'm, I'm using it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. I think that's all right. I'm and I'm, I'm great at sharing. It's just uh, everybody needs a line. Yeah. Um, one guy says, no, animals shouldn't play with human organs. It's important to treat organs with care to ensure they remain healthy and functional. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> that's what it is. It's yeah. literally what I just said. I, I think the real answer here is find a female or use your hands. I think Lolly's correct. Yeah, I agree. No, wrong with that. She's anything. asked one question ever, Lolly. She says... Can you really unlearn your entire life? So she's looking for the like eternal sunshine shit. Yeah. And instead she's stuck on animal organ quora, which is probably not <laughs> going to provide the answer she's looking for. Yeah. Uh, she's asked about she's answered a bunch of questions. Can right. you unlearn your entire life? Like what does that mean? Like unravel like everything that's happened to you? I guess so. Unravel it all. She's living with regrets. Yeah, go, go back to the beginning. Go do some ayahuasca. Mm, yeah, I would say heavy duty hallucinogens are probably the way On to do Sunday, that. On Sunday, Lolly was asked, someone asked the question, if a black man says hello to you, will you ignore it? And Lolly says, of course not. All but right. It depends if he says something inappropriate. I say <laughs> hello to everyone that says hello to me. That's just common courtesy. I like Lolly. She's yes ending a lot of these yeah. in a really fun way. <laughs> also, that question is hilarious. <laughs> a black guy said hi to me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Will you ignore it? Quora yeah. In the middle of the conversation. <laughs> Hold on one second. I have to figure out how to respond. <laughs> I feel like he wants something. <laughs> um. No one says no one says they'll ignore the black man on that answer. That's nice. So that's good. Remember to respond when people say hello. <laughs> yeah. That's my tip for women. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. You can say hi to black men. Women. Sure. Um, okay, let's hear another question. This is our, our religion segment, Corbidden okay. Fruit. It's been a while. Okay. So these are pretty spiritual questions, Maddie, and yeah. they may challenge you at a level you're I'm ready. Not ready. Are you a religious person? No. Okay, well, this question honest, is for, no. for all of us then. Atheists. Okay. Why do you always mock and insult God, the man who gave you life? Exactly, because he because he didn't give us life. <laughs> <laughs> I know Fix I do. Your it. Question. Why are you mocking him? <laughs> I know I do it for the power. <laughs> yeah, I do it because it's funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just the raw thrill of challenging the creator. I cannot stop having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here I am mocking the universe. <laughs> Why do we mock him? Because it's because he's literally. Get, I doubt his agency. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find a... Uh, I will never be struck by thunder. I found the person. The person who asked this question is named Nicholas Freeman. All of his questions are to atheists. Okay. He's asked 600 questions and all of them Yo! start as an atheist. Dear atheists. As an atheist, do you personally, to personally... Do you believe personally not the atheist consensus since there is none, but you personally as an atheist that marriage is sacred? He's got mm. all sorts of... What does it feel like to be a cashier facing customers all day when you are overweight? <laughs> he asked that too? Yeah. Oh, and then he also asked, how oh common God. is it for a 27-year-old man to have never had his first kiss? Okay, these oh are getting God. more upsetting as we <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, I'm getting sad now. Yeah, this might be someone I know. What, what kind of God would let that happen to you? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> you're not an like atheist by now? <laughs> Sounds like it's time for you to turn in your priest's robes. He has so many questions about atheism, and then every now and then it's just like, should I take this job as a cashier? <laughs> I have not if you're overweight. <laughs> <laughs> How common is it for a 28 year old man to get his very first job as a cashier slash dishwasher slash busboy? See, the thing is, you're too worried about how common it is. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty. You just got to do it because you need money. You know what's super common? Atheism. That's, That's right. correct. Yeah. We are legion. Biatch. Or we are Except for the majority of the world. That's right. <laughs> as long as you're atheism. on the northern hemisphere, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of us. As long as you're in this room. Uh -huh. <laughs> Atheist, do you consider people who strongly believe in God to be dummies? Oh, he's really questioning. Maybe he's trying to become an atheist and he's actually just trying to like survey. He, yeah, yeah. I like, see him as like, this? I see him as picking a fight. I think he's looking for an enemy, frankly. I no, think he's uh, doing like the Socratic method. Yeah. Like, asking it out. 
first I lay the trap. I know. I think that he's a 27 year old man who's like never been never been yeah. kissed, and he's like, I think I want to become an atheist, but like I got to figure out why they're insulting God. Yeah, because I know why I'm why I'm doing it. I just want to say I've worked in a kitchen before, and it yeah. would be really hard to use your phone if you're the dishwasher. <laughs> Because your fingers get all fucked up. You're saying this that. person's like at work? Yeah. I would also like to I add, hope. it would be hard to start a first cashier or back end of a restaurant job at age 27 or 28. That's You're going like, to get disrespected. I, I am? No, I mean oh, the, oh, yeah. the, the, the gonna 28 be hard. year olds because you're going to be around a lot of sassy teens. It's going to be one. hard. Yeah. It's like you when you do that as a teenager, you're like, dee, 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 my first job. Eh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 28 years old, that's hard work to when start I was, at. When I was 16, I worked at a hamburger place, and there was one 22-year-old who was drunk every day. His name was Jesse, and his favorite thing was punching people. <laughs> In the gut? <laughs> now imagine he's, well, yeah, kind of all over. Right. He was out of control. Right. He's playing with your organs. And he was kept trying to have three ways. What? Wait, really? He was. He would like go up to the girls and be like, "How you feel about your first three way?" Oh my it's god! Like, you should be in did that jail. work. Um, no, it did. They really hated him. Yeah. we all hated him. <laughs> he was mean. <laughs> now imagine he's six years older yeah. than that. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna get made fun of. Yeah. Um, but you do also rule with an iron fist if you're Jesse. So I guess it would, as long as you project like a, a dominant personality into the kitchen, you'll be okay. But otherwise, they're gonna eat you alive. Yeah. It's like was, prison for was you. Was he trying much. to have yeah. three ways with the cashier, like the other employees, or like customers? Like no, the like girls your, your, who were in high school. <laughs> yeah, the girls. Yeah. <laughs> to be clear, just what he was up to. Jesse, Weird. Yeah. Bad news. You'd say, oh, should you besmirch this man live on your podcast? Pretty sure he's in jail. He's got to be <laughs> yeah. in jail already. Not worried about it. And not worried at all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, working in a kitchen in high school is pretty weird. This yeah. is my yeah. sweet revenge for all of the Charlie horses you gave me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> You've I didn't work in a it. kitchen. I worked in like a fish, a pet fish store. In oh, really? School. And I had one coworker who, would, who was older and would always ask me if I had seen a video of someone dying. Okay. He was like, hey, can you just like show me a video of someone dying? Yeah. He would ask me all the time. Really? Is this pre-ISIS? Uh, I don't know. I guess so. Because ISIS really expanded the market yeah. to the internet in a yeah. way that was uh, taboo before. Sure. Yeah. yeah I should have told him that. Yeah. Check out ISIS. Hey, check out ISIS while you're You'd at it. You love ISIS. Yeah. If you're listening to the Core Raiders podcast, do not check out <laughs> ISIS. We do not endorse the things they have been doing. Under like our related podcast, it just says ISIS. <laughs> yeah. It's like Chapo the- Trap House, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Official ISIS, ISIS podcast. <laughs> ISIS. I think they're cringe. <laughs> ISIS is cringe as fuck, dude. Yeah. The way they treat yeah. women. At first it was like, oh, cool, like a new oh. take. And now it's like they mm-hmm. took their take too far. I took this whole city and I beheaded yeah. the young men. Yeah. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> I don't like that. There's a civil war in comedy. And we're against ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> ISIS, Red Scare. Yeah. Like, it's just like, I don't know, the dirt bag left. It's just like <laughs> It's Sklar Brother against Sklar Brother. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any answers on this. We do not mock your imaginary friend, but an adult like you who believes in fairies and who has crazed delusions, you should seek treatment. Ending with seek treatment is a strong discount. This guy posted this to a Quora community called True Atheism. Oh, so he's in a lion's den over here. (laughs) He really is. This is a brave dishwasher. I Um, I think he was raised probably like evangelical mm -hmm. and is now like, wait, what? Yeah, it's rare that you find that stuff on your own. That's yeah. what you're probably put in that position. Mm-hmm. He's like, people are getting kissed out here? Wait. wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Blowjobs? <laughs> yeah, once you find out about kisses, it's a slippery slope. Yeah. Blowjobs. Right. Yeah. Um, that's down the chest. Mm-hmm. I like this one guy who says, if your God wants me to stop, he can tell me himself. And besides, my parents had sex. And then natural processes occurred. And here I am 50 years later. God's uh-huh, not needed. Honey. God's That's from a guy either. named Gaius Simeon, Killing spree. who's a massage therapist. That rocks! <laughs> yeah. I don't believe in God, and I massage people every Hell day. Hell yeah. Uh, that's really funny. I he's, am the product of sex. He's got like a classic like selfie profile picture, but it's um, rotated 90 degrees, because he like clearly doesn't know how to upload it, Yeah. which I deeply Hilarious. respect. Gaius, you rock. Good for you. Gaius. You're, you're I love on Facebook up. like a boomer's um, profile picture. The f- it'll be five of them in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and then one of them's like cropped in the corner. <laughs> you're like, yo, you're stupid. Uh, here's another question. Can you still go to heaven if you smoke cigarettes? Oh, I think you go to heaven faster. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. As long as you're like very devout the whole time, I guess. The whole thing. <laughs> like, yeah. 
when you get like lung conditions, you can't blame it on God. I think uh, then you can still get in there. Yeah. And lung cigarettes are not in the Ten Commandments. They're not in the Ten Commandments. No. As a matter of fact, their eleventh commandment, and that's it. You gotta smoke that shit. Yeah, <laughs> forgot about that bonus commandment. We have a button for this somewhere. <laughs> Cigarettes. That, is that was so a cigarette long. bong. <laughs> Water pipe. Put tobacco in a bong. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think you can go to heaven if you smoke a cigarette. Why not? Yeah. We're all on board here. Uh, any good answers? Uh, Maria says getting into heaven is just about your relationship with Christ so if that leads you to stop smoking then great Jesus was sent to save us God knows that our flesh wants and wants and we have something called grace and that's in all caps this is hard to explain but before Jesus God would destroy places all through God who loved the people but God is a jealous God so Jesus was sent to be the ultimate sacrifice and we are covered by his blood and I'm sorry if I offend anyone but sin is sin and that's one sentence triggered sin is sin it's sin (laughs) Sorry if you're offended by that. I really like this is hard to explain, but <laughs> yeah. the of there. I might be popping off here, but uh, he is the lamb. Flesh. They always <laughs> use the word flesh. Flesh is, it does describe the things I want. I feel like, like when I have too many Negronis, that's all flesh. Right. That's something craved by the demon inside. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> that God has no say there. <laughs> It is interesting trying to, if you don't smoke, like trying to smoke like as an adult adult is very unappealing. Like a a, cigarette? I had a cigarette in Ben Wasserman's car last week and I was just like, this sucks. (laughs) Not for me. I can't even get through a whole one. I get drunk and go after them, but then again, that is also the monster inside. Yeah, flesh. (laughs) The flesh monster. That's all flesh. Yeah. There's no spirit remaining. (laughs) (laughs) Um,. There's yeah. one answer here that says, I don't know. It's your call, really, if you think about it. It's, yeah. Yeah, totally. Same. It's up to you if you yeah, want to. Yeah, we really don't know what happens on the other side. 100%. Just to be safe, maybe you should smoke, though, because it sounds like you can go to heaven. If you you got to achieve yeah. it. <laughs> smoke that shit. Smoke it. <laughs> Sorry to offend, but sin is sin. Why don't I have a smoke weed every day button? I feel like one of these yes, could go on one. there. I have 40 sounds. You have a whole new page you could add, too. I know. What the hell? Yeah, I, I got a. Uh, I'm not really using Doctor Evil as much as I should. I feel like he could go. Yeah. Which one is it? How about new? Oh, I like that one. It just feels like I would rather say that than him say. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Makes sense. And it's definitely not replacing. Quit it now. Because that's a that's my favorite one. Do you have sound effects on your podcast, Maddie? Yeah, but we're not like this is advanced for me. It's I'm like tough. staring at the soundboard. Like, how'd you do all that? It's t- it we does just have not like a, work. A, an app on our phone okay. that's like a fake soundboard. <laughs> it's the same thing. Really. It's They're the same not thing. labeled, yeah. and I get them wrong a lot. Yeah, but this, this is cool. This is stuff. I only have a girl producer, so we don't know how to figure out uh, soundboards. Um, we mostly HDMI. have nails. Yeah. yeah, we do pedicures instead. Right. Yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Um, you'll never be able to give tips to women with, with that kind of app. That one sucks. I hate that sound. We're gonna, yeah. We're we going to use it that. officially today, though, because we're going to do the segment. Oh, okay. Here's our segment, uh, Cool for School. That okay. was it. It's the bus. <laughs> and we're going to miss the bus. Yeah, because you're too cool. Because <laughs> you're too cool. You can woke you up cool. late because you're cool. If you're listening, can you tell how we're spelling it? <laughs> cool. With a cool. With a K- Q. Yeah. Cool. Quarators cool. <laughs> uh, this question is How do I get juniors and freshmen minions at my school who will do my bidding and run errands? Okay, so he's a senior. Yeah. Uh, okay. Looks like the grad is getting ahead of himself. <laughs> um, hmm. So, as you need- a teen. Yeah, as a teen, first of all, having abs is a great first abs. step if you can oh, do yeah. it. It's the rules of the jungle out there, and the most abbed is king. Yeah, we, we need some sort of exchange here. We need abs. You need to provide them with something. <laughs> Rides. Oh, if you give them. Oh, if you're a senior and you have a car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Those true. bitches will do anything for you. I yeah. know we were just talking about how cigarettes are bad and gross, but also and not when you are in high school. That's when they rock, and that will get you minions <laughs> Agreed. fast. Agreed. Agreed. Anything that violates the D.A.R.E. program yep. will get you minions. Any kind of drugs you can trade for service. Mm-hmm. That's the way yeah. you get 
thralls. High school is kind of like the prison system. It is in that way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You yeah. get your cigarettes minions. are money. Yeah. So you know, if if the cigarettes don't work, try getting them into the Quran. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Agreed. I, I came out of high school a devout Muslim. <laughs> yeah. Better food. <laughs> We haven't discussed Muslim Jeremy in some time. <laughs> he was requested too much. If we had to put him away, um, I like this first answer. Okay, uh, Monty Ryan says the three B's: bullying, bribing, and blackmail. Maybe okay, yeah, best exactly. We started with bribing. Yeah, mm-hmm. we didn't say bullying or blackmail. Bullying is a strong choice. Well, I think you can like bully, but in a make them think you're not bullying them. Mm. You got to do like the. Gaslight or yeah. whatever. Nice than not. Yeah. You got to hook them in like a toxic man. Yeah. Use, use the abilities of a toxic man. Yeah. Be like the bad boyfriend in a Stephen King novel. Yeah. Uh-huh. Love Listen. bomb them and then like be cold and then they'll be Ooh. chasing after you. Mm-hmm. So you're love bombing like y- the younger students to yeah. get them to do shit for you. Yeah. And then you're like kind of kind of like cold shouldering them to make mm-hmm. them like think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love your stickers, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah I, I love your cool new backpack. To hear that stick, your stickers are turning heads at that age can be <laughs> yeah. ecstasy. When you're 14. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're pretty much all your stickers at that point, or your stylish pins. Pins? I don't think mm-hmm. I yeah. had any pins or stickers. I had some on my backpack. Now, this Jeremy so went to school in Long Island. Are mm-hmm. you okay. a New York regional uh, Buffalo. child? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Because I feel like the kids around here had cooler stuff generally than the stuff I was seeing in Massachusetts. I didn't notice as many like stylish options. You mean kids here like when you live in like Park Slope? Or Park Slope or just like the New York regional area. Yeah. Like Katie Rose Leon sounded like she was very cool in high school. Okay. uh, In a way that I never knew anyone who was that cool in high school. I was not. I was anonymous in high school. But you wow. still have like that cool edge as you're yeah. talking about your pins. I have a friend from Long Island. She's like not cool, but she still has some cool yeah. stories yeah. running into the city and stuff like that. That's pretty like, cool. Yeah. That's and also cool. they just had access to My friend went to Tao faster. when she was in high school. What's Tao? Exactly. I don't know what that I don't is know now. In Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not cool enough to know about it's it. Like a, it's like a huge restaurant where you'll like go with birthday parties and stuff like that. Uh, Oh. Now it's like not cool anymore, but uh, like back in high school, it would be like, we're going to Tao. Is that as cool as the Ninja restaurant, which is now closed? <laughs> the, the Ninja the restaurant? The Ninja restaurant? I feel yeah. like we discussed this before. It's a restaurant serviced by ninjas, and you walk in, <laughs> and everyone's dressed as a ninja. They pretend to like kill you, and then they're like, here's the sword steak. And That's they pull a sword <laughs> out. What? Yeah, it didn't survive COVID, but it was very cool. Yeah, gimmick <laughs> restaurants are tough. <laughs> <laughs> like that one, what's the one called where they insult you? There's one in Indianapolis. Oh, it's called like uh, Bitch Mothers <laughs> Some, or something. Yeah. What? It's called Slut House. Dirty Johns or something. They insult you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. A restaurant where they insult you. Yeah, Jeremy was in Anonymous, the hacker collective, <laughs> so he didn't know as much about cool things <laughs> right. in the meat space. The kids in my school wouldn't go to cool restaurants, so they would just go to like Penn Station and then get really drunk at like oh, the okay. nearest bar. Yeah, That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, Triple Crown. LL. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then they would go see improv shows in the basement. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> These are my biggest fans. <laughs> so funny, Triple Crown. In 2017 wow. or whatever. There's something yeah. so funny about underage drinking and attending uh, uh, independent comedy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just losing this is the all cool of... thing to do yeah. as a 15 year old. Last night was insane. Just to see Steve Ling. Oh my god. This is for no one. Bro. Andrew Casertano <laughs> was on fire. <laughs> Last night, um, I don't even know if it's worth telling this story, but he was the guy who who booked uh, like twenty years of this yeah. bar, the Triple Crown, yep. and then called himself the artistic director of yes. the Triple Crown. Yes, and, and it would be like he would book like stand ups so that the stand ups could go up for yes. the improv. Mm-hmm. It was like a fake little audience. That's and, a good gig. And he sent me creepy messages once, and I, I never went back. I fully believe it. Yeah. E, Steve, mm. Lane. I know. Can you believe that? <laughs> I was shocked. I said, I thought you were a stand-up guy. Our artistic <laughs> director. <Marvin and Prof. laughs> <Maddie>. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, that was oh, weird. He was like, "I mm. see what Steve's on you." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your razor sharp wit is second to none. That's what it was. <laughs> and now he's on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Can you believe that? Change his name to Bowen. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so formerly Steve Ling. Yeah. Oh man, it's kind of a prodigy. So young, right? I know. <laughs> seriously. Um. Anyway, well, he did uh, the three Bs. He did bullying, bribing, and blackmail to become the king of. 
the New York comedy scene. Yeah, I was just also improv. wanted to big up blackmail as the number one way to get a minion. Blackmail. Yeah. yeah. It, it's easier than that. You don't have to blackmail. I don't mm. think you blackmail do. seems so stressful. Well, it's yeah. a rush. But I guess right. like if you're talking flesh. to like a fourteen year old, like it's pretty easy flesh, to blackmail flesh. them. <laughs> yeah, true. You could yeah. just be like I'm going to tell everyone you suck. I found yeah. out you like Goku. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> no. You don't want that getting out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you like the band's 14-year-olds. Like, yeah. no one's going to like that. <laughs> Loser. This could also just be a 28-year-old, I'm realizing. Because that's like how like creepy older guys talk to yeah. high school girls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Like, how do I get them to do my bidding by yeah. being my girlfriend? He's what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's the freaking guy at the... Asking for a three-way. Girlfriends yeah. are often about bidding. This is Jesse from Alex's job. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, the person who asked this only asked one question ever, so we'll never know. His name is Arnold Wiener. Oh, Nice try, Jesse. They're going to be blackmailing him. <laughs> yeah. This is Anthony Wiener's son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, it's good see. to laugh. It is. One guy says, be reborn in a manga as a tough guy character with cronies. You can be one of my minions if you shut up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it and I'll take you to the top, but you got to stop talking. <laughs> um, okay, let's do our segment Forbidden Knowledge. Okay, hey. finally. It's been a while. I like this. No. no. Fuck. <laughs> They're both purple, and so it's tough. And also, this is our segment of the unknown and the forbidden. Okay, this That's is what really... I hear when like someone's giving me tea on someone. <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> With who? <laughs> uh, this is a really long answer to this question. But okay. this is, what is the normal amount of grills to have? I was discussing it with my wife, and she was complaining about my spending habits on grills, claiming that I was buying too many. So I'm here to, a- I'm on here to ask, what is the normal amount of grills to own? Forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge. Also a rejected advance as well. Because yeah, I forgot he that advanced that on buying too many grills. <laughs> right. The topic of the on this question. Um, I think probably one grill. One grill's good, right? Yeah. You can have two if you're the real grill meister. Yeah, if you're like a, mm, if you're a yeah. smoker. And yeah. A, yeah. If you're a, if you're Bobby Flay or whatever these fucking Guy and, Fieri. And we are assuming smoking. you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> assuming you are. This is for your job, right? <laughs> yeah. Guy Fieri's wife won't let him buy more grills. Stop with the grills. I think one grill. Yeah, once. Unless grill. some people like a charcoal, and then other people like whatever the fuck else. Cast, also, don't cast. blame it on your fucking wife. I know, <laughs> My bitch that. wife. <laughs> yeah. She says I'm gonna burn down the house, but I won't. She says we don't have enough money for another grill. <laughs> Let's see what Quora has to say about this. Okay. How many grills is enough okay. grills? Um, Thomas Lee says, first my bona fides. I've experienced all kinds of barbecue pits, holes Yo. in the ground that you build a fire in and lay whole animals on to cook. Why is he saying this like at the end of Blade Runner? <laughs> I've seen barbecues you people wouldn't believe. Cheap little water smokers, huge offset smokers over 500 pounds. Mm. You can smoke three or four whole briskets as well as four racks of ribs True. and hung sausage. Pellet smokers with automatic controllers mm-hmm. and Bluetooth. Bradley fire and forget smoker with a conveyor to feed mm-hmm. fire. The g- big green egg. I was just going to say the egg. The you egg? The egg? I, don't I don't know smoker. about the egg. It's a smoker that's uh, shaped like an egg. Tell me you're a city boy. Wow. You don't know about the egg. It was popular during COVID. I see it. Ooh. What what an egg I'll it put is. one of these on the YouTube so we it can looks all like look a grenade. at the egg. Yeah, it does. call it a grenade. Yeah. Just a, a note to the egg company. That's a hell of a device. Um, He says, so define grills. To my mind, you need three. I w- I lowballed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the answer's three. Uh, I have a smoker with an offset firebox. This is for low and slow cooking of meat up to twelve hours. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I have a charcoal pit that barrel great. smoker they use for small cooks, I like a steak. Okay. And then I have a gas grill for hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks. This is for convenience. Apparently, your wife does not understand. What your wife does not understand is your man's connection with fire. That's correct. Oh, the fire thing. You probably don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've heard rumors. It's important. You guys always go full caveman when you mm. want to buy something. Yeah. Mm. I want a Bowflex. You don't get man's connection to physical. <laughs> <laughs> I do love fire. We are drawn to the flame. <laughs> I do. I am drawn to it like a bug. In this way, we are the moth. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, I guess three um, is good, right? He says, man has an innate desire to build a fire and put meat over it to cook. If it is your male identity, real men smell like barbecue. Oh my god! 
Uh, wow. That's been my identity this whole time? Yeah. I have really been underserving this. And then he recommends it grow and he says, it might be too expensive, though. Yeah, okay, yeah so at the know. end of the day, if you can't afford it, just <laughs> stick with the gas yeah. grill for hamburgers, hot dogs. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's really yeah. not a big deal. Uh, Keep in you mind, you have to buy bad. two more after this. <laughs> at some point, you will have to invest. <laughs> okay. What's the name of that product? Oh, the, the grill that he says to buy? Uh-huh. He has a photo of it. For the a original uh, advertisement of the week. The original PK grill from the 50s. Pika. What? I was thinking of, you know what? Pikachu? Pikachu? Is that what you're Pikachu. doing? Okay. I was thinking of Pikachu. But you didn't even do it like how Pikachu does it. You oh, went, yeah. Pika. <laughs> yeah, well, that was me reacting as Pikachu to seeing an exciting grill. I yeah. Guess. <laughs> you at Chipotle? Which salsa? Pika. <laughs> Pika. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I shouldn't have said Pika. <laughs> You should have never said that, you piece of shit. I wish I could take it back, but I can't. It's freaking all good. Just get yourself three grills. Uh, I'm going to buy a grill. I'm trying to see if there's any other answers on here. I think people say four. What? Okay, four. <laughs> oh, you got to add the George Foreman. Yeah. The number's going up. You better start buying now. Yeah. This guy says he has four Weber gas, big green egg, two portable charcoals for camping. Oh, uh, yeah. Camping. Okay, so two for camping. He says, if your kids are going to school barefoot and your wife has to get haircuts at Walmart, back off. Otherwise, <laughs> no. Otherwise, grill it up. Uh, Do you guys have grill goals in your life? Do you see your future as, you I, know, like... I just found out about this green egg. Yeah, so... Tomorrow's July 4th. Right. Date of dating the episode. Um, And uh, so for that reason, I'll probably be around a grill. Sure. Maybe that's when I lose my hair to a fire. That'd be nice. I've lit it on fire before. It's frightening. I feel like I'm never going to leave Me this too. apartment. Me too. Smells like shit. Smells mm-hmm. like shit. I can't have a grill in New York. I don't know Wait, where do I you put see it. your like, future, like wife, kids, grill? Maybe. Uh-huh. I don't know. Where does the grill fit in in your Yeah, life? I don't know. With your <laughs> ho- house. Now, my house. Now, Jeremy, you, you don't have much hair left. Are you worried about lighting it on fire? Not really, no. Okay. Because there's not much to it. You'd have to get really up in there. Maybe that's how I'll yeah. shave it off one day. Just light yeah. it all on fire. <laughs> Ceremonial egg. Go fully bald. Egg yeah. Would be very Paint myself metal. green. Yeah. And then open my mouth and be like, ah, put the raw meat. If you decide to do this, I think it is important we capture it on video. If I bu- decide to burn my hair off? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Patreon, Patreon goal. Patreon yeah. goal. What are we? Welcome that's got to be a high ass. one. That's got to be a high number. I mean, <laughs> they don't want to just burn light you alive. my head on fire. We're yeah. summoning a demon at like a thousand patrons. It got to be way higher than that. If we do this though, and I die, can we just say it was for Palestine or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have we'll to... climate change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After yeah. Jeremy served, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he had to do that dumb shit we told him to do. Can we not say I self-immolated for Patreon? We're gonna say <laughs> we're gonna say some other cause. Don't yeah, worry. Okay, cool, yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with like. Oh, did we say Palestine? I meant Patreon. Oh, my bad. I meant for clout. Free Patreon. It wasn't even for more subscribers. It was for the number they hit. It's an obligation is what it is. Yeah, he was I a man of his word. This. Jeremy was a man of his word. Um, Alex, we have two more questions. Which of these do you want to do? We have time Ooh, for one more. Want to uh, do this final one over here? Oh, definitely do the final one okay, there. Great. Okay, so this is Core Romance, and it's our romance questions. What do you know of love? That's cute. It's very Baroque. This is another one that's too long. Okay, this question is, how do I get an Italian girlfriend? Oh, like, cute. What are an Italian girl's likes and dislikes? Number one, three girls. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to smell of meat. I want to do the meat and smoke the sausage. Real men. Okay, how do I get how an Italian make a, girlfriend? I mean, and this is going to clock me as a city boy, but how do you make a meatball? Uh, uh, you press the, a bunch of meat together. I know, but like, how do you cook it? Like, which Does it go in an oven? Yeah, I think Often. so. Right? So you don't need to grill for that. You can do that. it on like a skillet, I think. You can't yeah, grill a, a meatball. You can grill a meatball. You can't. Maybe in that egg. The egg seemed like it would retain heat that way. I think you could grill a meatball. Fine. Maybe you can. Maybe you can make a big round meatball on a grill, but I'm just saying they're often done in an oven, and maybe you don't need one for that specifically. You might have to do a foil situation. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's so much you can do on a grill. I'm just reading this guy's profile, and it's very weird as well. Um, I don't know. Just like a, every now and then, it's like, how do I get like 2K15 to work online? And then other questions he has are like, how do I get topped by a trans girl? Oh, okay. <laughs> He has range. <laughs> she doesn't have to be Italian. 
Uh, he says, girls, do you like when a guy grabs your butt during a makeout? I love that some of these are like, you should just Google this. And other <laughs> ones are like, I need to go directly to the community. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he has a lot about Italian girls. How are Italian girls like in a relationship? Like, how do you treat an Italian female? What are Italian girls likes and dislikes? So he's asking this a lot. This must be a man in a place where there are no Italian girls. Because I yeah. feel like they would love to tell you all about this. They're very chatty. They're very mm-hmm. chatty. He um he asked all these questions seven years ago, and then he popped in two years ago to ask a question about young aspiring content creators. So I guess he's moved on from, from Italian Italians women to TikTokers. <laughs> young Ita- young content creators. How do I get an Italian girlfriend? <laughs> How do you get an Italian girlfriend? Um, um. Okay, you can buy them long acrylic nails. Yeah, acrylic nails. Mm-hmm. Like go to Joyzy. What would Lady Gaga like? She would like um, to be in a movie with Bradley Cooper. Yeah, and to like <laughs> you could offer her a role in your movie with Bradley Cooper. Dude, uh, there's an AI answer on here which I really oh, don't like. Dude, the AI. I, I have a Facebook page, mm. and the AI will summarize a photo of mine. Oh, and be like, um, commenters are saying that they enjoy this photo and are looking forward to the Maddie Smith comedian shows in Omaha. They also made comments about how she should wear sunscreen. (laughs) It's pretty crazy. That's so weird. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Yeah, it's creepy. Do you like having the AI do this? No, I wish I could remove AI from like my entire internet experience. (laughs) It's like meta AI. And now I hate the Google AI too. Yeah, the Google AI sucks. I have a friend who works for Google and he's like always like, it's so embarrassing. Oh. (laughs) AI. It is embarrassing. I hate when it pops up. Well, at least it's cooking the atmosphere while we do it. <laughs> um, does it have any good ideas for Italian the AI, girls? The, the thing AI is, like, says I got be acrylic, yourself. Acrylic nails, that's not going to work. Does Italian girls, like people from any culture, are diverse and have individual likes and dislikes? Which Wrong. Is like, Shut Wrong. Up. Wrong. They're all the same. It's not true Homogenous. you got to fight says, someone. The AI does say, however, some generalizations about Italian culture include a love of good food, family, and a strong sense of community. Oh, no. So there true. is... It does say that, like, all right, but some Italian girls, they do like family. And they like family, and they want you to fight. They, yeah, they want you to fight their brother. Yeah, that's what it is. Fight their brothers. Yeah. Find they, the weakest brother and beat him up. Yeah. yeah. They're going to say they don't like it, but they like it. They like it. They love it. When you it. beat up their dad. Yeah. Oh, no. He's my everything. There's a girl from Italy who has an answer here, Alessandra. Says Italians are just people. Girls are people. We're all different, dude. More There's propaganda. No one size that fits Ooh. all. Ooh. Shut up, Alessandra. You Get sound your- like you have a Russian name. You're not human. Get your pussy hat out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Quarators has gone woke. Yeah, I hate this. Can't say anything anymore. You can't say Italians aren't human anymore. <laughs> just because the girls have found your question. <laughs> All of her, uh, all of her questions are about Italy. I think she's a fake Italian. Yeah, I think she's lying for yeah. the Italian. She's clout. cosplaying. Yeah. yeah, she just wants all the free marinara you get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she wants a red sauce. <laughs> Quora sends you a jar of marinara <laughs> for doing as many uh, question answers. Thank you. It's Rouse. <laughs> Is that how you say that? I think it's Rayos. Oh, oh Rayos. I thought it was Rouse for like. 15 years and you then I saw think. a documentary about it and I was like, I've been saying this wrong my whole Rayos. life. Well, you know, Tao, my, the restaurant is spelled oh, yes, T-A-O. That's true. My so favorite restaurant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. Yeah. That's true. All right. Well, the answer is you fight people. And that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. And be okay with her like kissing her dad on the lips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. She's going to yeah. do some incest stuff and that's part of it for her. It's part of it. Well, you might also have to kiss her dad on the lips. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah, Totally. You're part of the family now and do anything. Hey, come here. Yeah, come here. Come here as well. <laughs> Good luck getting topped by an Italian trans Yeah, girl. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Good luck getting topped. Well, that's going to be it for us this <laughs> <Hey>! episode. <laughs> it's so good to do this every week. Maddie, where can our listeners find you at home and abroad? Oh, you can find me at home and abroad at all my social medias, Maddie S- So Maddie Smith. And what is your social media? <laughs> so Maddie Smith. And then... My podcast is called Madhouse. Madhouse. And we just fuck around. Because it's like Maddie's house. Exactly. If season four is Jeremy's really house, you think. Maddie's <laughs> podcast is Maddie's house. Yes, right. exactly. Just to clear things up. Yeah. Um, at the end of the show, we ask a question. Is there a question you want to ask Quora? Yeah. Um, let's ask Quora. Is, oh, let's do a woman-oriented question. Finally. Is, okay, if you lose weight as a woman... 
Is there a way to naturally make your boobs more perky? Okay. That is not personal. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, so, so something anyone could ask. And we're going to get an answer on that. And I'm going to be sure to send you any good feedback. Yeah, send me feedback because I'm at yeah. a loss. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing another episode in 40 minutes. <laughs> Oh, so cool. True. You're not going to get shit for that. <laughs> it's better turn around. <laughs> well, if they send me an answer in like two weeks, I'll forward it to you. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, all right, that's it for our show. We have a live show August 24th at Caveat Bar and Grill and Lounge. Uh, please <laughs> come. <laughs> Everybody there will be dressed as a ninja. <laughs> I didn't know That's, Caveat was a bar and grill. Certainly not. <laughs> you get popcorn. Uh, the link for that is in the description of this episode. We have bonus episodes every Thursday. Double your pleasure, why don't you? Uh, Patreon.com slash Quarators. And that's going to be it for us this week. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, question everything.